And not all your businesses uh, would benefit from from a normal uh, from a return to normalcy. But uh, uh, just for as an American and as a human and as a business person, how are you feeling this morning about about this news? Well, Joe, this is this is great news, and it's it's particularly great news for Black Americans because, as you well know. Black Americans were disproportionately impacted by the COVID virus because a lot of uh, African Americans, for lack of uh, health care and health services, had, a, had preconditions, which made the COVID-19 virus doubly dangerous. And so for Black Americans to uh, hear that there's a possible vaccine within several months or so, it's got to be something that uh, is going to... Uh, give them a lot of uh, hope for the future. But combined with the COVID vaccine, Joe, it's, you, you want to be healthy and well, but you want to be also economically growing and vibrant and generating income and wealth for yourself and your family. So I think that the country should definitely focus on how on the, uh, the macro level the COVID vaccine is going to drive the economy. But for the same reason that blacks were disproportionately affected by health care, uh, lack of health care, they're disproportionately affected by lack of access to capital. So that should be a priority to go along with mobilizing the country for the vaccine. The, new, the incoming administration, Vice President-elect Biden, needs to focus on bringing the black businesses that, again, suffer disproportionately up to where they can compete and be effective and move towards closing a, an enormous income and wealth gap. So I, I think black, uh, black Americans are as joyous and they should be as anybody uh, in, the, in the country or the world. Right. It, the, the very first uh, given that you'd have to take care of to start doing that is, is this, Bob. So that once we get that out of the way, then we can start going back and working on the, those intransigent uh, uh, sort of systemic problems that we've that we've known about, but you couldn't even address those really uh, when the virus was, was was you know out of control. So at this point, um, you know you got this arrow in the quiver, and then you can now go and and and, uh, and do some of these other things. Like like what though, Bob? What does it look like in practice? Well, Joe, what it, what it looks like in practice, and I'm I'm a big fan of the old you can walk and chew gum at the same time. So. This is a great country. The innovation coming out of Pfizer proves that. Uh, Pfizer uh, went to work uh, in, the, in the midst of the depths of the pandemic. And I think the economic engine of the country with the right leadership can get to work during the beginning of a recovery from the pandemic. So one of the things that, uh, Joe, you know this as well as uh, Becky and Andrew, that without access to capital, without access to money to invest, to grow your business, to hire employees, to uh, compete, you're simply not going to be able to survive. So I, I look for this country uh, from an economic standpoint for black Americans to begin to figure out ways to pump money into the pockets of uh, black businesses. And that means if it means that, for example, I think the Fed could trade the notion of the so uh, the tax policy in a way that would encourage companies to invest in black businesses by giving them a deduction against any income that they might earn from that investment. It used to be a program called the tax certificate, for example, where if a white business owner sold a business to an African-American, this was true particularly in radio and in media, that business person would receive a tax certificate allowing them to deduct on the capital gains. What it did, it stimulated and encouraged white business owners to sell with my, to minority businesses who didn't have all the necessary capital, but that tax certificate that gave the deduction in terms of the returns to the uh, seller made the difference in the movement and increase in uh, ownership of black media and black radio particularly. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.